My name's Kat. I'm from Miami. I grew up down there. I kind of grew up on the beach. As cool as it may seem to live down there, it's kind of different when it's a reality. So I kind of, I guess, got like the little island blues or whatever. I was like, yo, I need to do something with my life. So I just, from one month to the next, literally just moved up to New York kind of on a whim. And then I kind of got into this, you know, kind of tumultuous, uh, you know, toxic kind of draining relationship for a while. When I finally got out of it, right away I started working on music. And the thing about it is, it was kind of like writer's gold, that relationship, as like much as you could, you know, talk about relationships, it honestly is like writer's gold. So something positive came out of it. And that's when I started doing my little independent EP kind of thing. I think the first song I ever wrote, I was like eight years old. And when I really, really started writing and kind of getting into it was probably around 15. I would like look up like YouTube instrumentals and I would write to them. And I kept writing till up to now. I still write, you know, it, the process is obviously a little different. I've always sang since I was a kid. I think I sang Annie's Tomorrow, that was like my first song on stage. But uh, yeah, I've been to music all my life, I guess, in, in, in any sort of way. But I honestly started recording October of last year. I just got on it. I was just like, boom, I've been waiting 21 years to do this, let me just do it. I'm always trying to create I feel like music is constant change. So you're always trying to create something forward, something different, something new, something that feels good, something that sounds good. And once you feel that, then you nailed it. Sylvia plays a big role in my life now. I mean, she's definitely very hands-on and kind of getting into the industry and kind of learning more about how things work and, and how, how artistry is dealt with and learning how other artists end up I feel really blessed in where I am because I'm in like a kind of a boutique label. So everything is very personal and everything is very hands-on. I hear all these horror stories about artists and it makes me realize that I'm, I'm grateful for where I am.